Hey there, how are you doing? Uh, it's the second time I'm doing a video about these quiet propellers for the DJI Mavic Air because now apparently there is a second revision. Okay, I'll take the opportunity and sit down. Yes, I'm getting a little older. Now, that's the DJI Mavic Air with these beautiful blue props, which, which are manufactured by Master Air's crew, the version two, the generation two of the so-called stealth props. And by the way, welcome back. My name is Michael, it's the Tech for Road channel, the place where we review cool tech. A few weeks after the review of the first generation of these props, we are reviewing the new version. Why is there version 2? I think two major reasons. The first one is because of the colors. And I think the second major reason is because a lot of people were complaining of one particular error message that they were seeing shown on the DJI GO 4 app about motor's current error, which was really annoying. Uh, with the first generation, it's fixable if you change the gain settings. With the second version, you don't get the error message, or at least Master Air Screw claim that you don't get the message any longer. Um, after the first review, I've noticed two kinds of people. Um, overall, the feedback was really polarized. We have these people who truly like the idea of these props being quieter, people sharing their feedback, their, their own experience, that they actually work and do whatever they are supposed to. And then we have this second group of people who were claiming that my video is sponsored, uh, untruthful, um, that these props are louder in some ways and the battery life is drastically shorter than with the original propellers. In this video we're going to review the new revision of the Master Air Screw propellers. Um, I've got this beautiful blue color <laughs> with this red drone. Probably an interesting mixture. I don't know, it, it looks weird maybe, a little bit. Never mind. So, uh, this set was sent to me by Master Air Screw, but in no way they have influence on this review. Actually, when I got in touch with them, asking them, uh, hey, can I test a new revision? And they said, yeah, <laughs> here you go. And they've sent me these few sets. Uh, they didn't even ask about making a review or a video. So, uh, it's my own independent project. And everything you're going to hear in this review is based on facts and my own thoughts. I've got nothing to do with them, although they were really kind to uh, send these things for testing. And because I have three sets, one of them I'm going to use for my tests and two of them are going to go in direction a giveaway. So yes, if you want to win uh, a pack of four, meaning four propellers, <laughs> apparently you're going to need four for proper operation. Yeah, you can find in the description below the video how to participate in the contest and in a few weeks from now, um, I'm going to choose two people and you are going to get these new uh, Mavic Air propellers. Unlike my first video, <laughs> in this one I'm going to have to criticize a few things that I believe uh, Master Air Screw did wrong about these propellers, but we're going to get to this point. Uh, as usual, we're going to check their website and there are four big claims why these propellers are better than the originals. We're going to talk about whether this is true or not. And of course, I'm going to share a lot from my personal experience. The box is about the same as the previous edition and similar to most of the Master Air Screw products. Price is good, 20 bucks, and in my opinion, it's well worth it. And they are made in the USA. Even the iPhone is not made in the USA, so that's quite a thing. And we jump to statement one, which is the most important statement, claiming that these props are quieter by 3.5 decibels in some ways. Whether that's true or not, I'll let you decide by yourself in just a few moments. And it's not the fewer decibels only, it's also about the lower pitch sound, which is less noticeable and less disturbing. Essentially, these propellers decrease the routes per minute, which results into sound that is not that aggressive and Mass Rescue promised to keep the same thrust as the originals. This time I haven't used any additional measuring kits because in the last video there was something which was measuring the decibels. Um, not that the numbers would be different, uh, not at all. I think uh, the, the difference is even greater than what 
uh, the Master Air S Crew website is claiming it's it's not just about the decibel, it's also about the perception of the sound. Because first of all, you have uh, slower routes per minute, less routes per minute, and, and secondly, you have sound which is way different. And I think we can all agree that if if something is at a high frequency range, like you can hear it very well, and when it's more of a mid range, like it's something that that wouldn't annoy too many people. Now, um, I've done the most basic test using this action camera and I've filmed the drone uh, at the same kind of distance. The audio is raw, unedited, but you can still hear a very good difference. So let's start with the master air screw propellers. And now we have the DJI Originals. I took a brand new set. I believe that the difference is really easy to notice. And it's even greater when we compare the sports modes. And uh, it's even more drastic if the drone is not that close. Like if you, if you go 100 meters away with the master air screw props, you can barely hear that there's any device. <laughs> Definitely not the case with the original props. The second big claim we can find on the MA website is that uh, these propellers extend the flight time. So this is the point where I got a lot of uh, criticism last time because my measurement was done in still stand. I was not really moving the drone and many people were uh, trying to convince me that if you're flying with the drone, <laughs> the flight time is significantly less than with the original stock props. Well, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Uh, in fact, these propellers are even better than the first release. Uh, Master Air Crew claim that they offer up to 14, 40 something percent better flight times. Of course, I did a test, um, and the testing was, testing was pretty basic, uh, trying to cover the same distance. And I was starting from a full battery, going down to 30 percent of the battery. I was simply measuring until the point the battery triggers 30 percent, and it's warning me that uh, it's about to go down. So. Uh, with the Master Air Screw props, I managed to fly for 12 minutes and 38 seconds until that point. With the stock propellers, I managed to fly like 10 minutes and 57 seconds. And note that with the MA props, I was primarily in sports mode, while with the stock propellers, I was mostly flying with the normal mode. So we've already discussed two out of the four big claims in regard to this new revision of the Master Air Screw uh, propellers. The first one about the lower noise, definitely correct. The second one about uh, the flight performance, so we have the MA props are offering extended flight time. Third one is about colors. Um, <laughs> the first pile of criticism here, the colors, well this blue is great, but you can see that blue and red somehow they don't fit. The magenta color is very different to the lava red. In my opinion, a little bit annoying. Uh, the black color is fine, it's glossy, just like this surface here. It's glossy, classic. I think it fits well and suits well uh, the Mavic Air. Uh, actually, on their website, they claim that this glossy color is, is one of the reasons why the flight time or the flight times are now better with. Uh, the MA props. The fourth claim is about compatibility and I have to say a few words here. So first of all, they're fully compatible with the mounting mechanism and they are mounted exactly the same way as the original propellers, which is great. Uh, so uh, purely from hardware perspective, that is correct. Now, the other perspective is about support. Yeah, because a lot of people would be asking uh, would we be supported? Is our warranty void if we fly with third-party propellers? Well, if you ask DJI, 
possibly. Uh, if you ask Master Air's crew, they will tell you that there's nothing bad that can happen to your drone with their propellers, and most likely they're right. But imagine you run a multi-billion business and you, you find a good opportunity to, to decline support, expensive support, to uh, some of your customers because you find a good reason in your uh, user agreement which is claiming that um, you're not viable for any damages caused by third-party solutions. Well, in that sense, maybe if you encounter some issue with your drone, no matter what, better don't mention that you use third-party props. No matter if they're master air screw or anything else you, you found online, it's, it's better to keep it quiet about such things because DJI are a very special company, but sometimes you know that support divisions can find weird reasons to actually deny supporting you. Uh, but anyhow, yeah, in terms of hardware and in terms of the way they click over here, definitely these propellers are a great match. As a conclusion about this Master Air Screw Generation 2, um, they are indeed much quieter, they extend the flight times somewhere between 10 and 15 percent. Uh, they have fresh new colors, at least in my opinion they are weird colors. Maybe Master Rescue Crew could have done a better job to, to make it more compliant with the DJI look. And they are fully hardwarely compatible with the big question mark which remains in regard to support. That was all about this episode and if I have to share my own experience and opinion that's a keeper. I'll carry on flying with these beautiful blue propellers and these are going to be my primary propellers because I prefer the drone to be slower when I'm shooting some stuff. Uh, don't forget that two of you are going to get a brand new set which is going to be shipped by me in just a few weeks so if you want more details, check the description below the video. Uh, if you have any questions and comments and I'd love to hear about your opinion, I'll be active in the comment section right below the video. My name is Michael, I'd love to see you again, so don't forget to click this magic subscribe button. And because it's summer, I want to finish with something great, fresh, shiny and amazing. Thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you soon.